Metroid 2 is an Independence Day game. Literature can be broken down and deciphered into multiple meanings. It's fascinating how one word can say so much. And games are just like literature. They're art. Many games contain hidden allegorical themes that require deep thinking to fully realize. Braid is all about the invention of the nuclear bomb. Bioshock is all about the theory of objectivism. Metroid Fusion is a Valentine's Day game. Of course, these are all juggernauts that most know when it comes to video game literature. With several decades of content, there is, without question, more games that hide complex meanings no one has ever attempted to deduce. One iconic title in particular is in fact hiding some immense allegory themes that rival the distinguished novel Animal Crossing... Wait, f That rival the distinguished novel Animal Farm. I can't get Animal Crossing out of my head, it, it's so wonderful. Metroid 2 Return of Samus Not Metroid Samus Returns, or even that wonderful fan remake AM2R. No, the original Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Metroid 2 Return of Samus is not only one of the most outdated games of all time, it is also disturbingly unplayable in comparison to all other Metroid games. But because I wanted to make this video as high quality as possible, I was a martyr and I suffered through the game. By watching a Let's Play by Virgo Agogo. Thanks Virgo, you seem like a pretty swell guy. You pretty good Let's Play as well. In all seriousness, I did play about half the game many years ago, but my laptop crashed on me after defeating 12 or so Metroids. And then I tried playing it again, but uh, I got distracted by something m much more important. So I just decided to watch that Let's Play instead. Besides, I played Samus Returns. They, they can't be that different, can they? Enough about my experience. Let's talk about the subject at hand. You see the video title? I'm rambling about my history. You want to hear the juicy stuff. The stuff that you've clicked on this video for. Well, let's begin by talking about the big MD. And no, not Doctor of Medicine. I mean Manifest Destiny. It's Manifest Destiny! Metroid 2 is an Independence Day game. Everyone grab your sparklers, fireworks, and alcohol because we're going to celebrate the wonderful history of America. Especially you, Western states. Time to celebrate the wonderful genocide that our ancestors performed. Oh yeah, let's get f***ed up. This is exactly how the people in the Metroid universe will celebrate the events of Metroid 2. If you're unaware, Metroid 2 is all about Samus' quest to wipe out the entire Metroid race, to protect the galaxy and restore peace. The galaxy is at peace. Of course, this is understandable because, you know, Metroids are parasites who can murder everyone in the galaxy. They are a threat that needs to be wiped out. That's understandable. The mindset of wanting to wipe out a threat is very identical to many Americans in the 19th century during the beginning of Manifest Destiny. Westward expansion, territorial acquisition, whatever you want to call it. I say Manifest Destiny because it, it sounds tight. It sounds really cool. Bless you, John L. O'Sullivan, for giving this horrific act a dope-ass name. You deserve so much more, my sweet prince. Instead of people wanting biological weapons to be exterminated, like the Metroids, they wanted Native Americans to perish, which is so 1800s America. <laughs> We would snatch 200,000 acres of Indian territory, which we have deemed unsafe for their use at this time. They're such children. <laughs> oh, what a shit place this country was. But hey, at least this guy's good old Arkansas. <laughs> you know, the greatest state on this, on this landmass. If you don't know about Manifest Destiny, Westward Expansion, the rootin' tootin' gay cowboy shootin' Wild West, it's time for a history lesson. Dust off those old McDougal history books and turn to page 313. Back in the 1800s, America was but a fraction of what it is today. And then someone was like, okay, but what if we had more? And so thousands traveled west to settle in new territories. It's great, expanding your country is wonderful. But uh, without violence, please. Guess who was in some of those territories? That's right, Native Americans. And guess who was brutally murdered? That's right, Native Americans. Ow, hey, I'm not. Okay. That's the general idea of Manifest Destiny. There's more like the Louisiana Purchase, the Mexican Cession, the Texas Annexation, and a bunch of other little treaties. Not, none of that really matters here. 
What matters is that the Americans popped over to someone's territory, murdered all their friends and family, and claimed it for their own. It's very similar to our heroic Samus Aran in Metroid 2. Oh, America. America! America! Justice! Metroid 2 is an independent state game. Is this game actually about Manifest Destiny? No. It's not. This game's just a flat-out copy of Aliens from 1986, which is a fantastic movie, you should all go watch it. But because humans are so intellectual, individual, and beautiful beings, every person can find new meaning, even when it's not originally considered. That's why in 2015, when I picked up Metroid 2 for the first time, I had one thought that became the conception of this video. This is a pretty cool Metroid game, but it could use a remake, and why the f*** did my laptop crash? But over time, I thought about the game more and its parallels, especially after the remake, and I applied it to history. And I realized, this is literally an allegory for Manifest Destiny. And obviously I'm not alone, here's a petition for Bernie Sanders to make his campaign theme song the most iconic song from this game. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. To be fair, it would be really perfect. I mean, just picture it. Whoever made this is an absolute and undisputed genius. <laughs> because this game was made so long ago, there isn't that much content in the game. It's a very short adventure for Samus, but it's one of Samus' most important missions, if not her most important because of one specimen. The baby. At the end of Metroid 2, Samus comes across a newly hatched Metroid, and that Metroid clings to Samus, assuming she's their mother. And Samus doesn't kill the baby, she spares them. Of course, she puts the Metroid into government custody, and eventually they sacrifice themselves for her, but that's that's not Metroid 2, we're talking about Metroid 2, we don't need to go into Super Metroid yet, that's another video. America is much like Samus. They didn't murder every last Native American, just the majority. They spared some, and what they did spare, the Native American reservations, live on today. But. Who knows for how long? For many years, especially in recent years, the government has been destroying these sacred lands. It's modern Manifest Destiny. No, it's not even Manifest Destiny. It's inhumane destruction of a culture that has lived on for centuries. If we don't stand up for the population that was forced to become a minority because of us, they'll be gone forever. We owe it to them. Preserve tribal existence. It's what Samus would want. Metroid 2 is an Independence Day game. Thank you all for watching. You should all check out Metroid Samus Returns. It's a wonderful game to play while waiting for the next Metroid installment for 30 years. Anyway, I've got to get back to playing Metroid Prime Federation Force on my Nintendo 3DS. So I'll see you all later. <laughs>